Hello students, welcome to Short Obsess class. So in today's video, we will be solving a question from ISLA model. So in this question, it is given, consider an ISLA model where sector or demand functions are given by C equals to this, G equals to this and I equals to this. And here the money demand curve is given as this and money supply is given as this. So any disequilibrium in the international money market is corrected intensely through a change in R smaller. However, any disequilibrium in the goods market which is corrected through a change in Y takes much longer to be eliminated. Now we have to consider an initial situation Y capital Y is equals to 2500 and small r is equals to 1 by 5. Now what is the change in the level of I that must occur before there is any change in the level of capital Y. So we have to then draw a graph to explain your answer then finally we have to find out calculate the value of small r and capital Y that puts both the money and goods market in equilibrium so what is the value of investment at this point compared to small r equals to 2 and capital Y equals to 2500 so for this first of all what we have to do simply we have to write down the IS equation so first of all we have to write down the IS equation so the IS equation would be like this so the IS equation would be y equals to c plus i plus g so we know the IS equation is y equals to c plus i plus g so here c is basically 90 plus 0 0.75 y and the i is given as 300 minus 50 small r and g is given as plus 30 now from here we can simply find the value of y which will be 0 0.25 y equals to 420 minus 50 small r so from here you can find the value of y value of y to be equals to 1680 minus 200 R. So this is what this is the equilibrium in good market. So this is the equilibrium in now here we can find the equilibrium in money demand equals to money supply. So it will be 0 0.25 y minus 0.25 y minus 62.50 equals to 500 so from here we can find the value of y to be y to be equals to 200 2000 sorry plus 2500 so this is the equilibrium in money market so this is known as money market equilibrium now further what we can do is we can simply write at a that is at y comma r it will be equals to 2500 comma 1 by 5 and here the money demand curve equation is given as m by pd equals to 0 0.25 y minus 62.5 r now further you can solve it to be equals to 0 0.25 minus 62.5 1 by 5 now if you further solve it you will get the value to be 625 minus 12.5 which is equals to 612.5 so we have found the money demand curve as well now we can also find the money supply which is m by p s which is equals to 500 now as you can see the money demand is e greater than money supply so we can simply see from here the money demand is greater than money supply is greater than money supply so what we can do is we can simply write 500 equals to 6 to 5 minus 62.5 r so 
from here you can simply find the value of small r to be 1 to 5 divided by 6 to 5 which is equals to 2 so which will be equals to 2 so now further so at so at r equals to 2 the value of i r will be what will be equals to 300 minus 52 5 in 15 to 2 which is equals to 300 minus 100 equals to 200 so now initially we are at r equals to half now here what we can see is that i will fall from 290 to 200 so here we get ir to be equals to 300 minus 50.5 which is equals to 300 minus 10 which is equals to 290 so we have found the value to be equals to 290 now we'll simply find we'll have to simply find the value of we have to solve the question b so here for this first of all we have to draw a diagram here on the vertical axis we'll measure small r and on the horizontal axis we'll measure y so now here we can simply draw the is curve and here we can draw the alm curve so at this level we can simply draw it to be 2500,2 and here we can write it to be 2500, half so at this point we get 2500 so we have drawn the diagram as well now in the last question that is in the last option what we have to do is which I'll do here in question number C we have to find at equilibrium we can see it will be 2000 plus 250R if you remember the equation which is given in the question which will be equals to 1680 minus 200R from here we can simply find it to be 320 equals to minus 450R and we can find the value of R star from here which will be equals to minus 32 by 45 now if you simply put it here in Y then you will get it to be 200 2000 plus 250 minus 32 by 45 so minus 32 by 45 so which will be which is basically equals to 1822.22 this is equals to 1822.22 now so from here we can simply state that y star is given as this and r is given as this as you can see now from here we can simply find the i as well we can find the value of investment which will be 300 minus 50 r so now if you simply put the value of r here in this case you will get it to be equals to 335.56 so compared to y and r compared to y and r sorry compared to y and r equals to 2500 comma 2 which is the case here here i was 300 minus like this it was here 50 into 2 which is equals to 200 so compared to it was 200 now it is this so we can state for question number c the i is more for question number c the i is more so I hope you guys have understood this question. If you still have any query or doubt, you can simply WhatsApp me anytime you want. The number is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is given as www.showropsersclasses.com showropsersclasses.com There you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exam so thank you for watching this video if you have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number anytime you wish or you can also go to this website which i have given below so thank you for watching this video have a nice day ahead